I'm gonna take that as a sign to get out of here. Uh, that was enough adventure for me for today. I'll come back tomorrow when I'm refreshed. <laughs> I'll explain the whole situation soon. Give me a second here. I just gotta get out of here real quick. Chandy Chok Bazaar. Got out the rickshaw and got dropped off into chaos. It's quiet where I'm at right now, but as soon as I turn this camera around, you're gonna see action. Trust me. So the honking section <laughs> and all of a sudden it's nice and quiet. This is quiet for Delhi. Whoa, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Tripped over a small child right there. This is the main artery through this whole Chandy Chuck area. Um, but once you take the little side streets, that's like the underbelly. Uh, so let me dip into there real quick. Oh, that looks like a perfect spot. <laughs> We're going to head into here. Hello? All those shops for clothing, jewelry. Looks like a fancy clothing. Fancy like clothing. Pashmina? No pashmina. Now we made it. We made it out. <laughs> Seems like everybody's eating here. It's a popular restaurant. Very good gaba. Very good gaba? Yeah? Very good. Yeah, very good. Chole Bhature is very nice. Chole Bhature is very good. Yeah, their Chole Bhature is very good and the shop is very old. Yeah. And uh, you like it, you can try it. You're from which country? Uh, Canada. Oh, Canada? Yeah. It's very cold in Canada right yeah. 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 It's very cold in Canada. But when I come here, everybody in Delhi says it's very cold right now. <laughs> they don't know. In Canada, there's lots of snow. Very cold. This is not cold. <laughs> Not cold, not hot. You can try some local food here. Yeah, the food is very good. Yeah. Yeah. Today is Saturday, so you can see too much rust is there. A lot of people. Due to Saturday. Yeah, due to Saturday. Yeah. Thank you. I'll, Thank you. I'll, I'll Thank you. let you enjoy your, your food. Thank you. Oh, look at this. 
किसी भी लावारिस वस्तु को हाथ न लगाए इसकी सूचना तुरंत बीज ऑफिसर को दे दिल्ली पुलिस के साथ सहयोग करें Wow, must be good. There's people eating everywhere. You see how nice the people are though. They were really eager to talk to me, explain the fact that that restaurant's been there for ages. But India's great. So many friendly people. It's a beautiful place. I'm going to go back to that restaurant and get some uh, Chola Batura. It's famous. There was tons of people there. Looks really good. Uh, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna try it. Try to get something here. Oh my god. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I just paid, I got my ticket, and then I just basically wave it there until they give me a chola patrol. तुरंत बीट ऑफिसर को दें। दिल्ली पुलिस के साथ सहयोग करें। भीड़ के समय लाइन में चलें और अनुशासन बनाए रखें। खाने के बाद प्लेटें ड्रम में डाल दें। सफाई का विशेष। I got it. Finally, after all that, I got it. I'm gonna eat this. Wow, that was delicious, so good, but somebody almost took me from my iPhone while I was waiting in line. I'm gonna take that as a sign to get out of here. Uh, that was enough adventure for me for today. I'll come back tomorrow when I'm refreshed. <laughs> I'll explain the whole situation soon. Give me a second here. I just gotta get out of here real quick. Wait, before I get out of here, I gotta explain what else just happened. I just said hi to a dog, walked away from him, and then he bit my foot. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna explain the iPhone thing in a minute. Hold on, give me a sec. This place is the best, man. And we out of here. <laughs> you like gulab jamun? Yeah, gulab jamun. Do you know the best place for gulab jamun around uh, here? Can, can we? Can we go, me and you? I buy you gulab jamun? Cannot place. Oh, cannot place. For gulab jamun in cannot place, yeah? You want you wanna go with me? Let's go eat. Yeah, me and you. Gulab jamun, okay? this guy where I could get gulab jamun the best one and he told me the best gulab jamun is here so we're gonna go eat some you like gulab jamun yeah yeah me too okay okay world class yeah world class, world class. Get there. 
I'll tell you the story of the pickpocketing. It's a close one. What a good guy, man. That guy was the best. My new thing, whenever I'm looking for a tuk-tuk driver, just look for one with a nice face. You know, look for one with a nice face and it never fails. He wanted 120, but after him taking me for that gulab jamun, I ended up giving him 500. He was happy, very happy. That's like seven bucks Canadian. And that's, uh, that's good money. For All right, I'm back at the hotel, just sitting on the toilet right now. Figure this is a good place to tell you what happened. So basically, when I was at that restaurant, the way it works is that you pay a guy the money, he gives you a ticket in one line, and then you go to the line next to him, and you give the guy the ticket, and that guy gives you the food. So I bought my ticket, went to the other line, gave my ticket to the guy, and I was waiting there, waiting for my food, and uh, the pants that I'm wearing have zippers on the pockets. And I always make sure that the zippers are up. So I'm constantly checking that zipper. I don't know, it's something in my brain, like check the zipper, check the zipper. So I'm standing in line and then I check the zipper. The zipper's halfway open. And as soon as I check that zipper, my hand goes there. The guy right next to me, scruffy looking guy, um, he kind of like looks at me, turns around, goes on the other side of me to the other line and acts like he's paying, he's trying to get a, a ticket and, he, and I noticed it was 10 rupees in his hand and nothing there is 10 rupees. So he had 10 rupees and he's just holding it there and I'm like, hmm, that's weird. And then I realize, I'm like, yo, that guy opened my pocket. And I know if it was me, if, if I would have opened the pocket and forgot to close it, it would have been fully open. It, or it would have been fully open or fully closed, not halfway. So that guy must have been standing next to me, slowly opening my pocket. And at the right time, I went down there and checked and he like went around me and and uh, he almost got my phone. Like if I was there for another five seconds without checking, he would have opened my pocket and grabbed my phone. So, and there's not much I could have done. It was kind of luck that I, I checked my pocket. Um, it's so weird that I'm telling you this story sitting on the toilet right now. <laughs> so anyway, you can't really, I can't really give you any advice because it was kind of luck that I, I checked. Even if you have zippers on your pockets, they'll still get you. So there's, it's more of a cautionary thing. Like just be careful or don't go. I mean, he probably saw me before filming and stuff. So I knew I was pushing my luck filming. So you just got to be careful. Uh, I almost lost my phone and that would have really sucked, but I didn't. I'm back. I'm on the toilet. This is the end of the video. Um, catch me on the next one. Peace.